Hey dolls! So, uh, as you can see, I have done my makeup a little bit differently. I spent some time creating this uh, super pastel cloud look. <laughs> Just fun. It's different. You guys will see a couple videos on my channel filmed with this look on. So yes, anyway, I got a lot of requests to make a video about my new phone. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I recently upgraded my phone from the iPhone 8 Plus to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Uh, there is no particular r specific reason for my upgrade other than the cameras. <laughs> I really wanted to up my camera quality. I was finding that uh, with Snapchat and with various other camera apps on my phone, like the camera quality was just getting worse and worse. And I know that Apple kind of rigs their devices so that after about the two year mark, the batteries start going out, the quality starts going down, they start getting slower. And they do that intentionally to make their consumers purchase more upgraded, updated devices, uh, basically just robbing people of their money, which is understandable. I get it. It's smart on their end, but it sucks on the consumer's end. Anyway, my battery was starting to get shot a little bit too. Uh, I found that I was having to charge my phone maybe one to two times a day, which I didn't have to typically do. I don't really know what all to talk about as far as the new phone goes. I have two cases for this phone currently. Uh, I'll go ahead and show these to you guys first. This first one is a Fantasyland Disneyland themed case and this is from Get It Creations on Instagram. I'll put the name right here on the screen. I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just love their work so much. Uh, this was the case that I had to get my hands on as soon as I got my new phone. I am in love with it. It is so cute. They have so many different Disney designs and they are just perfection. I absolutely love them. And so yeah, this is the Fantasyland case that I have. This was the first case that I got for my phone. I was so excited to get it. And then the second case I have currently is just this really pretty pink sparkly one that I got off of eBay. And I have paired on there my Jeffree Star pop socket that I got in my Valentine's Day mystery box, my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Valentine's mystery box. Uh, anyway, it's just a basic pink case. I will go ahead and link both of these in the description box if I can. With Get It Creations, she only opens her shop for limited times, so definitely check her Instagram for updates on when her shop is going to be open. So those are the two cases. I am expecting two more from AliExpress as well as two more kind of bling deco den style ones that I have ordered. Uh, but yes, about the phone, um, the cameras are amazing. Portrait mode on the front camera is absolutely phenomenal. I am obsessed. Uh, the only thing that I will say is I don't think Snapchat is updated for the iPhone 11 devices yet because the pictures are very like desaturated and grainy still, which is weird because if I take filter photos or just regular photos for my Instagram story, they're still pretty crisp and clean. Uh, just like with on the camera app itself, just the stock camera app, they're pretty good. Uh, but I found with Snapchat, it's quite grainy and like I said, it desaturated saturates quite a bit. So I don't think that the I don't think the Snapchat is updated to be compatible with the iPhone 11 devices just yet. Uh, but once it will be, hopefully that will be soon because I'm getting impatient. <laughs> um, as far as taking photos with different apps and filters and things like that, I get a lot of questions on what I use for my filters. I usually used Snapchat, but because its quality has like dwindled and they haven't updated yet, uh, I go for an app called Snow and it is literally the same thing Thing as Snapchat like you can use different filters and send them to your friends and chat and all that stuff uh, I use that app for filters only I don't like post to a story or anything on there or chat with friends uh, but they have a huge range of filter options you can even add makeup to your real-time photos and videos it's a really really cool app I love it not sponsored I just love them so much I, th I will say though that the hardest thing for me to get used to if you're transitioning from the iPhone 8 uh, models to the new 
the newer style uh, is the face ID or the facial recognition. That was hard for me to get used to at first because like my home button was gone and I couldn't use my fingerprint anymore. So it was kind of odd. The other thing that I had a little bit of a hard time getting used to was screenshotting. In order to screenshot on one of these devices, you have to press the power button and the volume up button at the same time to take the screenshot. I adjusted to that fairly well and I think overall the phone itself was really easy for me to adjust to um, making that transition. But the thing that I had the hardest problem with, the hardest problem is multitasking. Instead of double clicking the home button since there is none, you have to like swipe up and hold, like you have to swipe up really slowly and gradually and then all of your windows will pop up. But it's very tricky, like you have to pay attention to how you're doing it. You can't just, you know, click a button twice and it pops right up. You have to like focus on like the swipe technique to get it to do it. So that's something that I'm still kind of iffy about that I don't really like. But other than that, I love this phone. <laughs> It is great. I'm absolutely in love with it. As you guys can see, I got the gold one and this is the 256 gigabyte. I do prefer the colorway of the gold iPhone 8 Plus over this. It just had such like a creamy, pretty finish and this one is more of a matte finish on the back. Uh, the cameras are really cool. You can film with both of your front camera and back camera at the same time using like an alternate app. I think the one that I have found is called Double Take and it's pretty cool. Uh, I haven't really done it yet, but I really want to try like vlogging like a follow me around or something doing that. I think that would be really cool uh, to see it from both ways, kind of filmed like a uh, like a gaming like playthrough or something where you can see like the reaction and then what the person's looking at and doing. I don't really have much else to say as far as a what's on my iPhone. I don't plan to be doing one in the super near future because I did recently do one for my 8 Plus and not not a lot has changed with this one. It's pretty much the same. I have the exact same setup, everything. Uh, my wallpapers have changed, but that changes constantly. So that's like the only thing about my phone that changes all the time. The night mode is okay. I know that's one of the things that a lot of people have been wanting to get this phone for is like the night mode features. And I know that that's what they touch on a lot in the commercials these days. Honestly, I haven't been super impressed with the night mode, but I never really would use it. I never would really take pictures in the dark anyway. So for me, that's not like a huge life-changing thing, but it is neat. It is a cool feature. Uh, and I love that when you're in portrait mode, you can change like the depth of the picture in a way, like meaning you can adjust the blur of the background. So it can be like subtly blurred or like super blurred. Uh, also, I love that when you are on your front camera that you can kind of click outward and it'll do like a wide angle shot rather than just like the up close normal camera. There's like two options there, which is really cool. And on the back camera, you have three options. You have three camera options on the back. You have the close up kind of macro lens. You have your standard lens. And then you also have the super wide angle lens, which is crazy to see that on a phone. I don't know if the, if Android's been doing that for eons and iPhone's just now jumping on the bandwagon or what, but it is really cool. I really like that feature. I think it's neat. Uh, like I said, I basically just upgraded for the cameras <laughs> and obviously the battery life as well. My battery lasts all day long and it does really good, especially if I'm using like photo apps and taking a hundred thousand selfies all the time, which I've been doing a lot lately, especially because my camera is a lot better quality now. I love it. Uh, I could put up a couple photo examples of the front camera, front camera portrait mode, things like that. I'll go ahead and flash across the screen here so you guys can see a little bit of the enhanced cameras. And yeah, I guess with that being said, I don't have much else to talk about. I don't really know what else to talk about, but a lot of you guys had requested this video. So I hope this was a little informative 
and you guys kind of got an idea. Usually I always make a video when I get a new device or a new phone. I'd kind of been doing that ever since my channel started like nine years ago. So uh, welcome to 2020. We have an iPhone 11 Pro Max and I know in five years from now everyone's going to be watching this video. Here in 2025, now we're rocking the iPhone 26 or you know some some craziness. So I'm not going to talk your ears off anymore. I'm going to let you guys go. I hope this video was a little bit informative and it was kind of along the lines to what you guys wanted. Uh, yeah, I guess I will let you guys go and I will talk to you all in my next video. Let me know if you have any of the iPhone 11 models and what your favorite features are about them, what you think of the camera quality. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions. Let's create some discussions in the comments section. And with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and go. I will talk to you all later. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right. Bye.